A few weeks ago we set up a 10 gallon nano reef tank for my 12 year old brother. I showed you a step by step tutorial on how you can set up a reef aquarium at home. I hope you feel inspired to join me on this journey and set up a nano reef tank for yourself. An aquarium can be a fun addition to your home or workplace. They are proven to reduce stress and have an overall beneficial effect on your mental well-being. Reef aquariums however can be pretty expensive, for example, the reef aquariums in my bedroom cost me between 2 and 7 thousand euros per aquarium. Compared to these large aquariums, nano reef tanks are an affordable alternative. My previous 10 gallon nano reef tank cost me less than 700 euros, including all the corals and equipment. These small aquariums do not require a ton of fancy equipment and don't consume a ton of electricity. Although setting up an aquarium is pretty exciting, you cannot add livestock to the aquarium immediately after setting it up. You have to wait for the bacteria culture to settle. This is called the cycling phase. Usually it's best to wait a few weeks in order to ensure that there is a healthy bacteria colony present in the aquarium. These bacteria act as a biological filter for the waste your livestock produce. Today it's finally time to add the first few corals to this aquarium. I let my brother pick some of his favorite corals from my aquariums and I think he made some great choices. Some of my aquariums have some unwanted pests in them. These are very common to hitchhike into an aquarium if you don't properly dip your new corals. Before adding new corals to an aquarium, it's best to bathe them in coral dip. Personally, I like to use this solution. It smells really nice and seems to get rid of most unwanted pests. The dipping process is quite easy. You fill a container with salt water, either from your own aquarium or from the water that the new corals came in. Next you add some coral dip and make sure it's mixed very well. Then you wait up to 5 minutes and if you want you can observe the corals and see if any pests were present. Also check the corals with your own eyes to see if something is still attached after spending some time in the dip, like algae or other stubborn pests. When found try removing it using tweezers, this makes things much easier. Dipping corals does not guarantee they are 100% pest free, because some are very hardy and will survive the dip or remain unspotted by your observation. However, it does reduce the chance of any hitchhikers entering the aquarium by a lot. After about 5 minutes, it is time to introduce these new animals to the aquarium. Some corals require to be glued to the rocks. This is to make sure they don't fall off the rock and end up face down in the sand. My brother and I decided to create some gardens in the aquarium. We want to create a nice garden of sawanthids a bit lower on the rock. Sawanthid polyps are one of the easiest corals to keep in a reef aquarium. There are three types of coral, soft corals, LPS corals and SPS corals. Sawanthids belong to the soft corals as they do not have a skeleton. Be careful handling corals though, because they contain poison that could cause skin irritations or infections. Since I want to keep this aquarium as low tech as possible with very little need for maintenance, we will focus on soft corals and a few LPS corals only. LPS corals have a lot of meaty tissue like soft corals, however they also have a skeleton base. SPS corals or small polyp stony corals are a bit harder to keep without adding a ton of additives and supplements to the aquarium. They also require strong lighting and flow which this low tech setup doesn't have. It is best to add things slowly, a few pieces every week rather than stocking it with a dozen of corals and fish all at once. This would put too much stress on the bacteria and could lead to a spike in ammonia and nitrate levels in the water, which can be deadly to the animals inside the tank. Also, your local fish store usually has new stock every week, so it will be a good idea to have some patience and take things slow because before you know it, the tank is completely full. If you have any suggestions for this aquarium, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.